Look, I love what I do, right? I have like the best side hustle in the world. However, sometimes I can't help but feel like it would be a million times easier if I were a man doing it. Welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, make sure to like and subscribe. I'm Victoria and I talk about all things hockey, baseball and sport related from across the pond in Scotland and let's jump in. So today we're having just a little chat, I don't really have any notes here, about women in sport slash misogyny in sport because it's a real thing and I definitely <laughs> have experienced it a lot in the short time I've been doing what I do. Um, it's a difficult issue. Don't normally talk difficult issues on here, but this is one I feel like I have to address. So for anyone who's been around on my Twitter for a long time, you might remember, or you might follow me because of, a video I posted at the end of last year, and it was having a run about the term Puck Bunny because just somebody had used it on me to try and sort of degrade what I was doing, which like it's not a nice term at all and it's a term that I've had used at me quite a few times which is very very unfair and I decided to make like a one minute video about it on Twitter it was absolutely crapping myself to post it because I'd never made like a video like that before and it took off and got thousands of likes and thousands and thousands of views and I think probably about half my following came from that video so pop it up on the screen here. If you remember this, you are a true OG and also you can tell this is like a topic that is, it's not something I'm new to, put it that way, and it's not the sort of comment that I'm not used to either. So anyway, always been something that I've talked about very much is like women in sport, gender equality in sport, and it's something that's important to me. I am basically like a woman in sport. I don't play the sport, but you know, I spend a lot of my time doing this stuff. I feel like I'm deserving of a little space in the sports industry, you know, just my tiny little corner. So of course it's important to me. So that's what we're talking about today. And the motivation for me talking about this is not out of nowhere. It is out of the fact that for some reason, Twitter was just really mean this week to me. Like so mean. It didn't matter what I said, someone would either try and argue with me or would just say something just really like mean or hurtful and it's not very nice, you know, like this is not my full-time job so just in case you're new here, let's recap. So um, what I do, my like hobby slash sort of part-time job at this point is like making sports content, I write articles, I make YouTube videos, I make Twitter videos, I do sponsored content for a couple brands. I'm basically like a sports content creator. Please don't ever call me an influencer. I really don't like that term. <laughs> I'm like a sports content creator and it's very much like a part-time job to me. You know, I, I'm still at university and I also am working two other part-time jobs right now because it's the summer. So it's not, this isn't something that I do full time. However, people are still really mean to me despite the fact that it's only part time. Don't get me wrong, the nice people make up for it, mind you, but some people out there are hella mean. And so this provoked me to think deeper about the topic of sort of women in the sports industry. So I went and found some stats, right? And so there was a 2021 report done on race and gender in the sports industry. So 79% of sports editors were white and 83% were men. And there are a lot of other stats which are all just very similar. It's a male dominated industry basically. But for example, the percentage of female copywriters and designers has increased from 20.4% in 2018 to 24.7% in 2021, which that stat was most interesting to me because I work in like marketing and stuff, so that's the one most relevant to what I do, basically. So even though you can see it is getting better, it's still not a lot. That is not a lot of women at all. And I just, I think it's really important for people like me to sort of 
sit here and talk about the fact that there should be more women in the sports industry because if nobody talks about it nothing's ever going to change and I get mean comments and then I make content like this and then people give me more mean comments saying oh you're just looking for attention whatever else like whenever you call out like I, I don't want the attention from me I just want the industry to change I want society to change so that women don't have to feel this way that's all I want I want little girls to grow up knowing that they can play the sport they want or they can be a fan of the sport they want or they can do something like what I do if they want to without feeling like it would be easier for them if they were male and that's unfortunately the way that it is right now and I see other female people in the sports industry whether they be fans you know they work in the industry they play the sport whatever it is I see a lot of other women talking about exactly the same things so I know that I am not an isolated case and I know that we are all in this together and I love hyping up other women in sports. I also love hyping up other men in sports who treat me the same way, which don't get me wrong, this is not like a target on I hate men. I did not hate men, you know, I, my, my family members who are male, my male best friends, my boyfriend, they are all like amazing human beings and them being male does not detract from them as people at all. However, there are the minority of men that let the side down and unfortunately mean that people feel like this and it has to change and it has to stop and the whole culture of sport has to change it's not a man's world not anymore it shouldn't have ever been a man's world but it's 2022 sports are just as much for women as they are for men and even the slightest thing I can do to help that I'm gonna do and also what drives this is I've had like a few messages from people saying Oh, I'm so glad there are people like you around to inspire my daughters because they might want to get into the sports world and I'm so glad they have people like you to look up to and that, I can't tell you how many times I've got emotional over that, I can't even tell you um, because it's just really nice to know that you're having a positive impact on people and that is basically all I want to do. All I want to do is make sports content talk about sports, talk about hockey and baseball, things that I really love a lot, provide my slightly unique insight from like being in Scotland and that's all I want to do. I'm just here for the good vibes basically because I love creating content, I love sports, it just makes sense. That's all I want to do and I don't want to be hindered by getting mean comments from people and you know it's tough like just because you put yourself out there online doesn't mean that you should be sort of an open target for people to be mean to. I don't know when that became a thing that people decided that because they were behind a screen they could just be horrible people. I don't know how that came about but you have to remember that the people you're saying mean things to, they are real people and if you wouldn't say it to them standing face to face to them, you probably shouldn't say it online either. If you want to disagree with me, that's totally fine but don't be mean it's just it's not a nice thing to be it's not nice to read and then when like it happens I kind of I just take myself offline a little bit more because it can really kind of get under your skin I've got a pretty thick skin I would say and it's definitely got thicker over the last year not even a year I've not even been doing this for a year Jesus Christ how long have I been doing this? I think, I think I'm, I've only done this properly for about eight months and my skin has got a lot thicker in that time and generally I don't care what people think but at the same time I just think that you should be promoting sort of positivity and I get for every like 50 lovely comments I get there's like this one mean one which just ends up like sticking your brain because it's like human nature to think that way and unfortunately women are definitely a bigger target in the sports world of that than men from what I see and especially one of one of my main gripes whenever I post like selfies and I'm talking like normal selfies that I post on Instagram like and yet all the time I get people either call me a puck bunny or I get you know oh you you, you shouldn't do this you shouldn't be posting those if you want to be taken seriously well why not? And the ironic thing is, half the time, it's men saying it and then you look at the profile picture and they're standing on like a boat with their top off. So it's okay for them to do that and talk about sport. But it's not okay for me to post just a very regular selfie going on a night out or something. Like, as I said before, this is not my full-time job. And I very much, I want to keep 
my online self still me as much as I want people to take me seriously and I think I deserve to be taken seriously I also don't want to take my own personality out of that and if I want to post like a selfie or like what I'm up to that day I think I should be able to without it taking away from my sports knowledge to have people criticising your every move especially when it feels like they're only doing it because of your gender and I see it happen to me, I see it happen to lots of other girls that I know it's just, it's very just disheartening however, like props to all the guys that fight this because every time someone's mean I have, they, they get absolutely stormed by a bunch of replies who are men and women just telling them to stop being such an idiot which I'm very grateful for that, I'm so grateful and I love what I do and nobody's going to destroy that or take that away from me but it's just it's something that needs to be spoken about, we need to talk more about women in the sports industry encourage it, you know it's not a man's world, it's not, it's not, you can be a like pretty girl and whatever else and you should still be taken seriously I also recently got <laughs> that apparently people only follow me for the way that I look, nothing to do with my sports knowledge, which I don't know if you're trying to give me a compliment there, like if you want to say, if you think I'm attractive that's very flattering, like thank you, I'm honoured however, don't make out that's the only reason people follow me because I spend hours putting research, filming and editing time into all my content and it's really degrading to make out as if, you know, you're dumb and it's only like your looks that people care about it's really demeaning, it's not very nice just, yeah, just don't do it, we need to do better talk out about stuff and so that's basically the purpose of this video which is just an absolute ramble and I'm probably going to edit this and be like she is not on a coherent sentence there, like she is jumping all over the place but I, I wrote like very few bullet points whereas usually I have like an extensive list of things to talk about but this is something that's really important to me and it's something that I wanted to discuss and I'm very happy to do more videos diving into deeper on sort of topics such as this um, but I don't usually post stuff like this and I'm slightly nervous too because it's not what I usually post but I have posted all this on Twitter before so I'm just bringing it into my YouTube channel because I think it's important to talk about so here we are let me know in the comments down below whether you'd like more content like this or whether you want me to shut up and just go back to talking strictly about hockey and sport itself which I will happily do because that is the purpose of my content also I want to start branching out a little and I had someone request that I do a video on like the Loch Ness Monster and like more Scotland stuff which I really want to do, I so I've got a few ideas in my head now of sort of Scottish related things that I want to make videos on so let me know in the comments anything Scotland related that you would like to see outside the sports world because I would very much like to, I'm very proud of my country, I love Scotland and I love sharing it with the world so let me know in the comments what you'd like to see and until next time guys I'll be back very soon talking more hockey and baseball from across the pond in Scotland so I will see you all again soon Bye guys.